Hey guys, Brennan with Whiskey River, and this is Whiskey River Weekly. So I am uh, getting the warehouse all steeled in with uh, a whole pile of white steel. So um, that's pretty exciting. We've been working on that all, not all week, but majority of the week, uh, every day we've been chipping away at it. So um, updates wrenches wrench bottle openers um those are live on the site now james fleming forged them for us they're the last of the uh usa made crescent wrenches and they are available on our website as bottle openers so pretty excited about those uh as many of you know crescent shipped their operation overseas and um, so we bought a bunch of the USA made stuff off of a surplus company. We have the front building completely demoed. There's, we still got the lights hanging, but that's just so that we have some light in there to work and been assessing the floor to figure out what we're going to do with that. I'd like to maintain the hundred year old tongue groove maple that we've got, but we'll see if probably some patches, some pretty soft spots. So that's exciting. We got Hudson Bay belt hatchets back in stock. Hudson Bay belt hatchets are one and a quarter pounds, 14 inch handle. They're standard line axe. They retail it. Uh, don't hold me to it. I'm not looking at it right now, but I think 42 bucks. They are a great starter, like beginner's hatchet. If you're looking for something for your kid or you're looking for um, something for a kid in your life. Uh, and then also because they're super lightweight, they're great for backpacking, canoeing, things like that. What else I got? Oh, Dalton's coming up this weekend, which is super exciting. Uh, he's coming up to shoot some videos and just see the new place because he hasn't been up here yet. He works remote still from our old hometown, Fort Atkinson. So he's gonna be coming up every once in a while and just joining us in our craziness that we're um, doing on a daily basis. So that's pretty fun. We got new walrus oil products, cutting board oil, loggers, hand, Sav and uh, Lager's Lip Balm, which, you know, works good on your lips in the winter. I don't know how, and your nose. My nose gets super chapped in the winter. Um, so I'm excited to try that once it starts drying out. I've been riding three-wheeler to work, which has been super fun. There's a couple videos on Instagram that you can check out for that. And that thing's been running great. I... I think the previous owner sealed the tank like it must have had some rust in it and he sealed it because that sealant's like coming off into the carb so i've been really struggling with that not sure exactly what to do there besides just keep cleaning the carb out and hope that it goes away um but at the moment it's running great i have probably put 15 miles on it in the last few days and that's been quite fun just a little 110, nothing crazy. It doesn't really go that fast. I think it does like 30 tops, so feeling pretty good about that. We're gonna be doing some interviews this weekend with uh, my buddy my buddy Jacob, who's a forester, and also uh, my buddy Todd, who owns Delta Diner, which is located in Delta, Wisconsin, just up the way from here. And I have became friends with him in the, since he's in the area and a business owner, and we've really hit it off. He's got a venue slash eatery that he does uh at night and the evenings uh at delta diner that's called the tap shack and it's been uh a super big hit burgers it's uh i'll let him talk to you about it it'll be on this it'll be on youtube so he's coming over to tomorrow no saturday morning for an interview and then also jacob is and we can talk about trees because everybody likes hearing about trees so, um, yeah, it's been warm. It's been humid. We've got that, the, the same thing that hit the West, Western States, that monsoon kind of creeped through Northern Wisconsin here. So we've been getting the, the humidity that comes along with that instead of the typical Arctic air that we usually get. So, well, yeah, I'm hoping to share with you guys a nice video of the warehouse soon once we get all the steel hung up and some more racking up it's been just a disaster and we've been shipping off of pallets over the last few weeks for few months really and it's finally starting to come together where we're getting the walls 
insulated and uh, sheeted so that way we can get racking up and get everything back order in order and actually be able to use our space efficiently. So that'll be, I'm sure Dalton will have some things to say about that to help us with organizing and sorting. So yeah, well, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. Uh, I leave for Vegas next week, uh, middle of the week it's to hold a horse sculpture and that'll be a there and back trip with my buddy Jack and we will be sharing a lot of stuff from that. So stay tuned. Uh, if you have, um, Instagram, stay tuned on Instagram. I'm going to try to share some stuff on Facebook and I'm sure I'll upload a video of that trip then, but otherwise, uh, until next Friday, it's whiskey river weekly. It's Brandon with whiskey river. Stay sharp, stay safe, enjoy your weekend and, uh, be good guys.